So if you're thinking about getting into 3D printing and you've never had a 3D printer before, I can highly recommend this one. This is the Creality Ender 3 V2. And it is such a compact and simple printer to get started. So it all comes uh, in a box and you'll have to put the gantry together and then attach these different pieces. It's all really simple to do. Uh, there's lots of great resources online, videos that you can follow along with to put it together. The great thing about having a printer that you put together yourself is you understand what all of the parts do. And then if anything does break down or need replacing, or if you want to do upgrading, then you know exactly which parts do what and what's going to change if you upgrade those parts. Now, this printer straight out of the box prints really, really well, but it's very popular. Uh, online has a huge following and there are lots of modifications that you can do which make it really good fun as you progress more into this hobby. So originally uh, it does have a place to hang a spool which is your plastic that feeds into the machine uh, but I've removed that and personally I use one of these. So this is a filament dryer box and it takes two rolls and then I can feed directly from here into the printer. Um, there are also different sorts of beds that you can get. Now, I have upgraded to a PEI spring steel bed. Now, this is made of metal. It has a smooth side and a textured side, depending on what sort of finish you want. And then a big magnet that sticks to the bed. So it's really easy to locate and then it stays stuck down until you want to get your part off at the end. You lift it up, give it a bend, and it pops straight off. There's also generally a screen here, and you can put in SD cards and control everything via the screen. Um, and that's really great when you're first starting out, but then you can progress on to other ways to control your printer, like using a Raspberry Pi is a very popular option. So you can see here, I've added a cord where I plug in the Raspberry Pi. Just if you were thinking, hey, this looks a little bit different to the picture online. Um, but these aren't necessary upgrades. These are just things that you start to do after you get a bit more experienced with printing and want to do upgrades as it is very, very addictive. So I'll show you a couple of the things that I printed out uh, when I first got the printer. So the first thing most people will print is this one and it's called a Benchy. And the purpose behind the Benchy is to print a whole range of different tricky parts to calibrate your printer and see how well it is printing compared to others. So it may not look like a big deal, but there are so many things here that are going to test your printer out, um, whether it's different angles and curves or overhangs and um, different textures and layers and all, all sorts of things go into the Benchy. And this is the very first thing I printed stock on this printer. I hadn't changed anything at all and it printed out absolutely superb. This is a really good quality Benchy. It did a great job. So the upgrades I was talking about definitely aren't necessary. This thing prints really well straight out of the box. All you have to do is unpack it, set it up and start printing. And then after the Benchy, if you're calibrating the printer, there are these calibration cubes, helps you get things into the right size. And if you can, I'll see if I can get that to focus. There are some really crispy edges on this perfectly square. This is a 20 by 20 by 20 millimeter cube and it printed out perfectly. And next, just to see if it was possible, I printed out a bearing. Now this thing was printed complete. I didn't print all of the parts separately and then put them together. This was printed as you see it. I just peeled it off the board and then it was ready to go. A bearing. Absolutely amazing that that can be printed and it's just working straight off the board. Very, very cool. And then finally, I have this octopus. This is a very popular part that people are printing at the moment. 
And what's really cool about it is if you look closely at the legs, they don't clip together. These were printed together. They will not come apart. That's how it was designed. You can print rings like this and make cool toys. Again, this is just to show how, uh, how this printer prints without any crazy calibration. This is just stock standard. I've printed a lot more things since then, since I've done upgrades and whatnot, but straight out of the box, you can print this kind of thing. And that is just amazing. There aren't a lot of printers out there at this price point that can do something like that. So yeah, Ender 3 V2. I absolutely love it, and I think you will too. Enjoy. Thank you.